Well, this is gonna be interesting. My name is James, and I'm out here with my good friend Jesse, from Pocatello to Chalice, Idaho. All off-road, four days and three nights. I have never been on a trip this long, and it's Jesse's first time moto camping. This will be an adventure of a lifetime. To start this adventure, Jesse met me at my house for breakfast. We said our goodbyes and went on our way. The first step in our journey is to cross a big desert that lies between us and the big southern butte. We saw lots of wildlife. Wow, look at that herd elk out there. And enjoyed the fresh air as we rode fast through the desert. Both of us are learning to work as a team when it comes to filming everything ensuring we capture every moment of this adventure. Originally, our plan was to get all the way to Copper Basin, the midway point in our journey, on the first day. However, the Lonely Mountain, also known as the Big Southern Butte, had other plans for us. Beautiful day out. This road is really fun. We've run into just about everything on it, loose, dirt, Gravel, hard packed, rocks, nice smooth flat, it's, it's had a little bit of everything. James and I actually had a, a bit of a concern about the weather this morning. Um, it was pretty threatening looking, it was looking like we were going to get rained on and it was quite a bit cooler than it had been the week previously, but we got pretty lucky pretty blessed. Can't beat a day like this. Big Southern Butte rises approximately 2,500 feet above the surrounding lands and offers a spectacular view of the Snake River Plain and the Rocky Mountains. The Butte has been registered as a national landmark to help assure preservation of its significant geological and other natural resource values. Vehicles must stay on designated roads. Ready? Yeah. All right, I have no idea how difficult this is gonna be. Guess we'll find out. We'll take it slow. Even at the beginning, this trail is very steep. We realize very quickly that this may not be a simple jaunt up the hill. I'm not too sure about this. I think this would have been easier earlier in the year when this dust hadn't turned to dust. Oh, you're good. I got gotcha. you. Okay, let me get out of your way here. Didn't pick a good line there. Oh, I have a feeling if we get to the top of this, we may just want to camp up here. <laughs> 
While the road was difficult and traction was hard to get, the temptation of what awaited us at the top was too attractive to ignore. And at this point, we didn't even know how good it would be. Boy, this is a fantastic view. Climbing a lot of elevation fast, I'll tell you what. Let's see where we're at right now. We're at 6,600 feet of elevation. Let's do it. It's quite the climb with fully loaded camping gear. That road looks really nice right there. Good job, James, a boy. I might let him climb this first. His bike has to work pretty hard to climb something like that. Honestly, mine does too. Whew, look at that. Oh. Gorgeous views on the right and the left. I wish I could stop and take them in, but we gotta keep moving. We'll have plenty of time for that later. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I heard something rattling. This thing, uh-oh. I'm not sure how to, is that a bad thing? Is it thread? Well, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I have to have James look at it. Which way did he go? Left, I assume. It's like a pretty good little climb over there. Hopefully I don't lose that GoPro. Thought I was going down there. Oh. Oh, there goes the GoPro. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Hey, at least it didn't fall. Stick that in my super ultra masculine fanny pack here. Indiana Jones wore one, okay? middle of nowhere, a mountain rises 2,700 feet above the surrounding area of the Snake River Plain. Easy to say and easy to hear, but being here in person is overwhelming. It felt like we were at the top of the world, and we honestly didn't even have the words to fully describe it. If anything, it was really quite humbling. Well guys, what a view. The view is so intense that I don't even know how to take it in. So we're up here having a snack and uh, drinking some water and just relaxing because that was a rough ride up here. Our plan is to camp here at the top of the mountain. Probably never gonna forget this the rest of our lives. Yeah, it's an incredible view. And what it took to get up here, we are not willing to ride back down. We were gonna actually go camp in Copper Basin the first night. By the time we get to Copper Basin, it'd probably be nine or 10 o'clock. So we decided to set up camp here. And really, when we come up to the top of this, there's a fire ring right over there. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Calling our name. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way we can go right down there and maybe camp in the plane somewhere after being up here. Well, and you don't want to spend just 10 minutes up here. This is this. No, is no, that'd be a waste. So we're going to relax here a little while longer and then uh, we'll uh, start setting up camp here in a bit. 
and uh, we'll make dinner in a few hours. Forward to that. Oh yeah. We got something special planned tonight with a secret ingredient. It was strange, a feeling that slowly built in our hearts over our stay at the top of the mountain. This feeling was not something we would fully understand until the next day. You see, when you're at the top of the world, it's lonely. Even with two of us, as the excitement from being at the top of the mountain fades, the seed of loneliness will slowly begin to press on our minds. Hello gang, Jesse and I are starting to gather firewood and get a fire going and then we're going to start cooking dinner. Just in the nick so, of time, it's getting chilly. Yeah, every time a cloud passes by the sun, I don't know if you guys can even make that out, it gets super chilly up here and so we're thinking that it's going to be a very chilly night tonight. It's about a 20 degree difference every time a cloud passes in front of the sun. Yeah, so I mean as soon as the sun goes down it's going to be bad. So we got it's worth it for the view. It's worth it for the view. Yeah. yeah, worth it for the view. So we'll enjoy some steak and potatoes for everybody. So we've got this culvert down in here and this culvert is going to keep the wind off of us while we cook and while we have our fire. It's kind of ingenious whoever came up with it. I'm sure it wasn't the mountain itself or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where we're going to cook. So Time to get ready for that. All right, we're gonna get a fire started. It's getting cold up here. Pickings for wood up here is kind of slim. We're gonna use these little Bigfoot bushcraft starters. They work pretty well. Kind of rough them up a little bit. All right, any bets? Am I gonna get it with the first one? I'm gonna bet negative. <laughs> James is betting against me. <laughs> Pressure's on now. Bet. <laughs> you gotta expose it a little more. It's too deep in there. Yep. Well, I just said I would get it started with one. I didn't say how long it would take, to be fair. All yeah. right, so I've got some new addition to my camping cooking kit. I've got this lovely wooden cutting board because plastic in your food's not great. And then I've got tongs, spatula, and spoon. James Ramsey. Huh. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm up in my cooking here. Oh, there, there go. you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a okay. Yeah, this knife takes some getting used to, but I quite like it, actually. The it chef's cut knife. Pretty good. Chop up this zucchini here. You know, I've never cut cucumber before, actually. You don't chop cucumbers up? I've never done it. Really? I guess we'll figure it out. If I chop it into circles and then I can like chop it into halves or fourths, maybe. I usually just dice them into, yeah, one that small. I usually just, yep. Now do you like your onion burnt to crisp inside or do you like your onion? I still, I like a little bit of. Or do you like a little bit of chunk A little left? bit of, yeah. How about texture, a little bit but, of both? All right, guys, so I have something new today. These are little baby onions called shallots, and they're super transportable. I was just keeping them in my pot, and uh, the idea is that I can have onions with a longer shelf life than just cutting them up at home. So Plus, it looks cooler on camera. So here I go, chefing it up, my little cooking bit. boss. Mmm, I like them. Yeah, it's about just like a normal 
Just a regular onion. I was worried they were gonna be a little too mild, but no, they got some kick. Hey, there you go. I think I'm gonna start cooking the steak now. I'm the secret ingredient. A little bit of red wine. Well, that steak's done. You do half. So what you think half is. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food. To be eating it in a place that I don't even have the words to describe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, you did good on that, man. That's a good. Mm. That steak was done good too. Mm -hmm. Man, that is hard. To, this is hard to beat. Right. This, Dude, you know, well, look at that. No, my it's goodness. So hard to beat. When was the last time you sit here, ate this meal, and looked out at that? All right, guys. Jesse and I are uh, just taking a rest of the night off we're done cooking we're done doing things all we're doing is sitting next to the fire enjoying this beautiful view out here and then we're uh we're gonna hit the hay after that so thanks for joining us uh, man it's been an adventure already and we're only a little bit of the way in we still got two more nights after tonight if you guys aren't subscribed you should do that. It'll help me out a lot. And uh, we'll continue our adventure tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys, well, we're heading to bed. We spent a good amount of time by the fire and we even had a truck come up the side of the mountain and uh, started I think he came up to the radio tower behind us at the peak, but he didn't mess with us. He went back down and now we're good to go. So I think it's about, what time is it? Midnight. We're gonna hit the hay, get some rest, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Give to the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over many waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare, and in his temple everyone says, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Oh, good morning, guys. I slept in a little bit so i didn't get to see the sunrise but still a beautiful view to wake up to you know, time to get up and start a fire get some coffee
While it was an amazing view, we got up a little bit later and the hot sun was bearing down on us. We made some coffee, sausage, and pancakes. However, this place feels desolate and it's starting to wear on our minds. Both of us started to have a subtle thought. Could we do this two more nights? I guess we will find out. Jesse and I were just talking, and we think this campsite looks pretty similar to uh, where Denethor in Lord of the Rings, the steward of Gondor, jumps off before his death. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little outcropping here. It just uh, reminded us of that, and we thought it was funny. But anyway, we're about packed up, and uh, we're going to get on out of here. This has turned into a campsite we will never forget. Strange and lonely, beautiful and desolate. No words can describe it, but there it was. Now it's time to leave the lonely mountain and start the next chapter in our adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Up next in part two, Jesse and I need to descend the mountain, cross a desert, and then a mountain range. It's also uncertain whether we can even cross it. Join us next time on ADV for the King. God bless you all.